go. My mama once told me that the world would judge me, but I never would have thought because my color of skin. Not much puts us apart, but my ambition to win. But I love all your ambition and respect all your kids. What is up, you guys? It's your boy Rootless Still is here today, and I am back at it again with another video. This is the first episode of the Listening To series. So, uh, today's episode is about ACDC. Now, the way these uh, episodes are going to work is that they're in podcast form, meaning I won't be showing my face, or uh, this this isn't like a regular video. This is just a video where I talk about the band, I talk about their music, and uh, yeah, I, um, yeah, let's get right into this. Um, so before I tell you about ACDC, you might be asking yourself, just like I did, who is ACDC? Uh, ACDC is an Australian band formed in Sydney, which is very weird because I thought these guys were European, but they were formed in 1973 by brothers Malcolm and Angus Young. Um, the genre that I would most likely associate their music with is either blues rock or hard rock. It's, uh, members that, uh, the, these are members that have been or that are in ACDC. Uh, Malcolm Young, which is obviously one of the founders, uh, he played guitar from 1969 to 2014. He died in November of 2017. Uh, Angus Young, he currently still plays guitar since 1917, 1970. I mean, I'm sorry. Um, he is also another another of the founding members. Chris Slade uh, currently plays drums and has played the drums since 1989. Uh, Stevie Young, he currently plays guitar since 2014. He plays what? Um, he, he plays the, the lead guitar. Uh, so Angus Young, um, he likes to play what he calls slide guitar, but um, the, uh, but Stevie likes to play like all the all the hard notes and all that kind of kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, Axel Rose, he's currently the lead singer from 2016. Well, since 2016. Uh, Dave Evans, he's, a, he's been a vocalist from 1970 to 1973. Uh, Larry Van Creed, he played bass from 1970 to 1974. Colin Burgess played drums from 1973 to 1974. Uh, bon Scott, lead singer from 1974 to 1980. Phil Rudd, played drums from 1975 to 2015, uh, Mark Evans played bass from 1975 to 1977, uh, Cliff Williams played bass and backing vocals from 1977 to 2016, so he played bass and sang, uh, Brian Johnson, uh, lead vocals from 1980 to 2016, uh, Simon Wright played drums from 1983 to 1999. Uh, they have 17 studio albums and have been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2003. Uh, so based on the music I've listened to so far from ACDC, I like how the guitar plays a very important role in the music. Uh, the guitar and the drums are what, in my opinion, should keep a band's music going. I like how they sound a bit old-fashioned, but they aren't that old. Um, what else I like how in some of the guitar is what I like that some of the guitar is what we hear uh, like in in one of the songs that they have um, a long way to the top and I like the solo in that song stick around you know because I I feel like the guitar really pops in that song and I, I really like that um, I like the guitar riffs that they play. Um, ACDC's music isn't something that I would sit down and listen to for hours, because I feel like almost every song has the same framework and sounds identical, only with different notes and melodies, you know? Um, I would listen to it if I wanted to hear great guitar playing. The only original member of ACDC left, Angus Young, does a great job on, like what I said, that he calls slide guitar and plays very fast and has good rhythm. The song Big Balls, I feel, is honestly a joke because it sounds like they're just having fun, you know? So it sounds like these guys like to have a ball with their music. Um, how would I rate their music? Um, like I said, I wouldn't listen to it all the time, but I would certainly, if I wanted to hear good guitar music, I would hop on and listen to this. Um, other than that, um, what did I think of their music? Their music is pretty good for a rock band, and uh, it's it's nice, it's nice. No wonder I know why these guys got inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame now. Um, 
but yeah, um, other than that, uh, I don't really have much else to say about them. What, uh, what would I rate them on a scale of 1 to 10, you say? I would rate them about a 7 or 8. Um, and that's just my opinion, you know. Everybody else has their different opinions. Don't come at me if you don't like that one. Uh, but yeah, that that is what I I believe I would rate them. Uh, if you have uh, if you have any other requests for listening to uh, series videos, um, make sure to drop them in the in the comment section down below because I don't I don't really have a lot. I have some, but I ha I don't have a lot, and I would like to keep the series going as long as possible. So if you have any recommendations, please. Make sure to make sure to let me know. Make make sure to either put it in the put it in the comment section, DM me, uh, you know, do whatever you gotta do. Uh, but but before we but before we exit out, uh, I would it would be so awesome if you would just put a like on this video. Uh, subscribe if you're new, cause I I make videos very recent, you know. I make like very recent videos, so if you if you like all that kind of stuff. Um, Please make sure to subscribe, uh, like, or dislike. And you're not obligated to like, you know. Um, comment and yeah, tell me your feedback. Uh, but yeah, if, any, if if there's nothing else I can say, well then I guess I'm out, guys. I wish I could show you my photo album growing up. One bedroom apartment, shit was hard. When you drop new songs they relate to, are your close friends wanna go and hate?